Second chapter. Lesson number 10. The various elements of your show. The adjustment menu. Part 2. We will now see the last adjustment menu tab. The editing tools menu. As previous lesson, insert a slide containing a photograph and open the slide editor in its tab. Adjustment and Wait, Yushka. In the previous lesson, we said that the hue function does not allow to make the negative of a photograph, which is true, but we did not say that Prosha could not simulate this function. To do this, select your image in the list of layers, then set the white point to minus 100% and the black dot to plus 100%. This is two orders combined will have the effect of reversing the brightness of each color and thus obtain an image on negative photo form. And yes, as you see, Prosha has many resources. Thank you Pat for this clarification. Now see the editing tools menu. This menu is also divided into three parts. The first contains the functions to rotate or to give a mirror effect to your image. Rotate allows rotation clockwise. This command is in the form of a drop-down menu. Open it, and you will notice that you can rotate by quarter turn, either 0, 90, 180, and 270 degrees. Click 90 degrees and then you see that your image is rotated clockwise a quarter turn. But you will also notice that this command resizes your image, so that it coincides with presets in the layer setting tab. Here, the first edge coinciding with the format of the show. Select one by one, options 180, then 270 degrees, and finally back to no rotation. This command allows only for preset rotation, but you LLC later, you can change the level rotate of your image, degree by degree, and this on the three axes of rotation. The flip command consists of two checkboxes. One to give a vertical mirror, and the second for a horizontal mirror effect. Check the first, you find that your image has been returned as a reflection in the water. Uncut and check the horizontal. Now your image is like the reflection in a mirror. If you check both functions, this amounts to the same a 180 degrees rotation of your image. As we have said, you can also adjust or perform this command using the flip rotate X and I Greek in the effect tab. The group of the following four commands are composed of a validation checkbox and an opening of their publisher attached button. They are also to a single setting and therefore cannot be changed temporarily in your slide. The first vignette is the more complex. Click the button to open its editor. What allows it? The vignette effect can crop your image in rectangular or oval shape by adding to it a transparent border, colored or multicolored, with dimensions of adjustable size, thickness and full format. It sounds complex that said, but this editor is very easy to use. It consists of three parts above the preview window of the effect provided by its trimmings, and, below, the two menu control. The left, vignette type allows you to choose the shape and color of your thumbnail. And the right part, vignette options, lets you perform trimming size thereof. Starting from the vignette type menu. The first order, shape, or in other words, form appears as a drop-down menu. It is composed of two choices. The first, rounded rectangle or rounded rectangle corners, is, as its name suggests, a rectangular cut to the proportions of your layer. The corners may be more or less rounded. This is the basic option that is applied to the opening of this editor. And the second, ellipse, performs a oval cutout of layer, proportionally to Rito. Click on it to apply it to your layer. The second command of this menu type is composed of a variety of selection, consisting of three styles filling the border. 
to select a type, click on the round box before its name to select it. The first type, transparent, creates an edge extending from the color on inner edge until the total transparency to the outer edge. This is also the default option for this command. Second, solid color creates, by default, a colored border starting from the color of the inner edge to the color set for the outer edge. Original predefined color is black, but like all the color definitions, this command is followed by a preview window, box and a command button, set, to open the color editor. Click it, and then set the color of your choice using the editor, and apply it to your edge. Here, we chose an orange color, and you can see the effect obtained in the preview window. The third type is Gradient. It will allow you to create a border composed of one or more gradient colors starting from the color of your layer on its inner edge to mix with your gradient until the color of your gradient to outer edge. Select this option and the button Edit Gradient becomes accessible. Click to open the Gradient Editor. It resembles the gradient editor we've seen previously, but it have with no type of gradient, only the linear mode is possible, as it is impossible to give it a rotate. Your border will consist of gradient color from the left superior corner to the bottom right corner of the preview window of your gradient. Select the desired effect type in the left superior menu. We chose Metal. Then choose a color from the list, we will choose the golden effect, but you can create the effect you want as we have seen in the lesson on layer type gradient. Once you made your choice or trimmings, click OK to apply it to your border, or cancel to exit the editor without making any modifications. See the result with a border of gold metallic effect. The menu vignette option, it is composed of three trimmings. First, vignette size, set the width of the border. It is expressed as a percentage of the size of the layer. Base, it is 10%. Set this value to 50%, or, with the cursor opens when you click in the numeric field, or by entering the desired value directly on it. You will find that now the size of the border is equivalent to a quarter of your layer, which is normal, since the border can only start from the center of the layer, until the edges, so that a half layer equivalent 100% of the edge, and then 50% to a quarter. Set the profile to 100%, as we have said, the border covers your entire layer. And return to 20 pregnant. The second trimming, set the size of the cut of the sticker is named, border size. Indeed, it defined as a percentage, the empty border around your layer. As the previous command 50%, the border is equivalent to a quarter of your image, and 100% to your entire layer, which becomes invisible. Return to 20. You see that this control is followed by a command box, solid border. This command allows you to remove the fading effect of the border and vignette. Select this command, and you will find that the border is now composed of the gradient we have predefined, and it is no longer mixed the colors of the layer. Un- this command. The last trimming. Corner size is only available for the rectangular thumbnail format, because it defined the magnitude of the rounded corners. So select the type of vignette rounded rectangle in the vignette menu category. Now you can define the radius of the rounded corners. Turn it 50 degrees, and the dimension rounded, cover half of your shortest layer edges, and at 100 degrees, all of the shortest edge. Just to the right there is the last option as a checkbox. Fill corner, it is also accessible to the ellipse mode. If you select this command, the part of the layer cutting by the trimming, size border command will be filled by the outer border color defined in the type option of the menu vignette type. Here is another example obtained using this menu. Click OK to apply the effect to your layer or cancel to exit without changes. You can see the effect obtained and you're showing the preview window and the effect on the layer in the window selected layer. 
You will also find that the application of this modifier box is now checked, which applies the effect defined in the editor. You can unt this controller to remove its effect, and if you check again, it will resume the trimmings that you have given him. If you select this command without first making trimmings in the editor, the default settings will be applied. It's a rectangular vignette of transparent border type with a size of 10%, without any other effect. In the next lesson, we will see the following menu of editing tools, with the commands, red eyes, and crop. Thank you for your attention.